Hello fellow Sudokans, welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Friday the 23rd of February 2024. I hope you are keeping well. Um, I'm back at the Sudoku drawing board because um, I thought I was going to be, be I thought I was going to be working today, uh, but all of my work has been cancelled. Presumably, that's because Monday is a holiday. Monday is Mahabucha in in Thailand, and that's a holiday. So you know what happens on a fr when Monday's a holiday. A lot of people want to go home early on a Friday, or even just take the day off. And so uh, what I had expected to do, which was work today, uh, I don't have to do. Another hit to my bank account though, since no work, no cash, so that's no good, is it? Um, but anyway, and also Monday's holiday is another non-working day for me, which is not good, but there we go. It does give me time to play Sudoku, and actually I've got a game in hand from our, our long-term friend on of the channel, Julian, so hopefully I'll have a chance to play that later today. Uh, unless I get some other plans, you never know, I might get a telephone call with a let's go out kind of uh, message. <laughs> I've sent a few out hoping, fingers crossed. Um, otherwise, it's Sudoku all the way today. Uh, congratulations to Odysseus. No, I'm not talking about the uh, star of the Iliad. I'm talking about the Moonlander, which has just landed uh, from US private company in conjunction with NASA, I think. Uh, Intuitive Machines, I believe the company is called. What a crappy name for a company. Uh, I don't like intuition. It's very uh, bad science, very bad scientifically, you know. <laughs> Sci intuition will lead us into all kinds of disasters. Uh, let's not trust intuition. Let's trust science. It should be called scientific machine, not intuitive machine. That would be much better for the whole world who has some, seems, especially in America, they seem to have gone uh, in such an anti-science way which is ridiculous because America has some of the greatest scientists, but you know so much of the population seems to distrust science and turns towards religion, uh, as noted by the uh, supreme ridiculous uh, Alabama Supreme Court. I think it was Alabama Supreme Court, which has uh, <laughs> decried, uh, which has uh, decla decreed that a fetus. Uh, in a test tube a couple of days old is now a human child anyway that's another story uh, anyway congratulations to intuitive machines and nasa for actually getting something on the moon let's hope it's money well spent research that will lead to something useful for all of humanity right let's get on with the game of sudoku i can see fives this is new york times hard level puzzle let's get on with it i see a couple of things i see fives blocking there and i see nines going up to the top there and blocking there now yesterday's game was a toughie for me uh it was hard work for me yesterday let's see if today's is going to be easier or of a similar ilk we've got sevens blocking like that we'll get seven there we've got seven down here seven up there so let's play a seven there Mm, we're also going to have sevens there and over here. Ah, no, we're not. Okay, we got so okay seven blocking across here. It's going to put and seven down here, right? It's going to put seven into one of these two squares. So blocking across here, seven blocking across here. So that means seven has to be in one of these two squares here. But up here we've got seven and seven like this. So seven is therefore in one of these two squares. This one can't be seven. This one is forced into being a seven whether it wants to or not uh, <clears throat> I think that's probably all we can do with the sevens for the moment nine across here on the other hand and here will give us an easy nine there and we have nines there and looks like we've got nines going up to the top here with a nine across there which will put nine into that square so we will be having nines in those squares there haven't paused for breath yet uh, probably it's time to do that now nope because we got three across here and here so we don't need to pause just yet
there we are three up there three across there there's a three I was looking in I was look obviously I was looking elsewhere as is often the case when digits are highlighted and people are saying why don't you see it? you've highlighted it it's because I'm looking somewhere else Four blocking up there there's the four of course since I'm not on camera you don't know where my eyes are peeking and even if, even if I was on ca even if I were on camera I don't think you could notice missing digits here are what eight and six uh, I'm not sure over here we know which is which but let's what's missing from down here that's eight and six so we are left with two one and two I think in those squares am I right one two I think so What's missing in this column up here? We have, or what we don't have is, we don't have two, six, eight, is it? I think two, six, eight is missing from this column. Yeah, we got two and six together, so we're going to get ourselves an eight there. And that means two and six bottom and top. Uh, over here is one, three, four. So we got four blocking here and four blocking there. So that's going to be our four. And we'll have one and three in the remaining squares. Three blocking down here. There's our three. There's our one. One up here, one down there will give us one in that square. And this is two, isn't it? I just, yeah, because we've got two blocking those squares. That's our two. What's missing from this row? We're looking for four, we're looking for six, eight, nine, four, six, eight, nine. Uh, we've got nines at the end here, of course. Uh, okay, we've got eight across here, and then eight is in one of these two squares blocking across. That will be our eight. And so we will be left here with two and something, and the two blocks up here, there's the two. And the something that goes here is a six. That will give us sixes in those squares. Sorry for the gap, I am just examining what I can see.
let's try going through the digits bit by bit and see if we come up with anything uh, we have ones in those squares and there Two blocking up here and up here and across there. Ah, oh, there we go. Got two there. Uh, we don't have we don't have eight in this column here. We've got eight blocking both of those squares, so that's going to be eight, isn't it? Stop going sequentially when you see something. So missing digits here are uh, six, seven, I think. Yeah, six, seven. Uh, no help there. And these have to be uh, f two, five. Any help there? No, I think not. Okay, now I was going sequentially. I've got no idea where I got to, but I think it might have been four. Which is the key block? They all look likely, but
Um, okay, I will call a halt to proceedings quite soon, by which I mean I will put in the pencil marks to finish the game, because uh, I don't want the video to go on for too long. Um, there's a lot of restrictions, of course, plenty of restrictions, but where to place an actual digit I can't quite spot this block down here I have the 8 and 4 across there so 8 and 4 are down here and I have the 5 and 7 here so we've got 5 and 7 somewhere there so we've got 8, 4, 5, 7 uh, threes are limited to these squares. One, I'm not sure about. Okay, let's go to pencil marks to finish the game. Uh, so there's some where, where's likely stuff. Uh, I've forgotten what goes in here now. Six and seven, is it? I think it is. Uh, this was six and eight, wasn't it? Let's do that. And this is two and five. And we've got ones blocking across here, so we get one in those squares. And we've got a one here and one up there. Maybe this block will give us something. Uh, what do we know about twos? They appear there and there. Threes. Uh, this is th three and six there. So Fours. Hmm. I think I'm going to put my glasses on. Sometimes helps. It doesn't always help, but it sometimes helps. Um, hmm. So I'm not really sure. So what's missing from the middle here? We're looking for two and six. I think six is the key number, right? A lot of sixes missing.
All right, let's uh, put in some candidates then. So sixes go here. Sixes could be in any of those squares there. And sixes up here can still go anywhere. Uh, four, six, eight. What else is missing here? Two. Hmm. Two anywhere, I think. All right, let's finish this block. One, two, three, four across here like this. Five, six, seven, eight. What do we know? Eight blocking up here. Eight in those squares. Uh, and over here, this is done, of course. Six, seven, two, five. So over here, we're looking for uh, one, two, three, four, five. What do we know about five? Not much. Seven blocks this square. Okay, not, not going on very well here. So the last bit down here, we're looking for one in any of these squares. I have no idea about digit one. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. We are done. Well, we have a pair of one and five here, and so this one is not going to be true. We can at least say that. Uh, and this five is not going to be true. So we'll get rid of that five, and that means that this is a five here, and that means that these squares down here cannot be five. Ah, okay, so we've got a unique rectangle, a, a slightly different one from normal. We've got one, five, seven. That means that either this square or this square has got to be seven, which means that this can't be seven. Um, have I finished all of the candidates? I have, yeah. So it means I can remove this 7 here. That can't possibly be 7. Because we've got 1... F okay, so just a bit of explanation for newcomers. We've got 1, 5, 7 here, right? So uh, it means that uh, because we because of our unique rectangle rule, we've got 1, 5, 1, 5. It means that uh, we, this can't be 1 or 5 and this can't be 1 or 5. So I, one of these two squares must be 7. So if 7 is here, then this can't be 7. If 7 is here, this can't be 7. So we can remove that 7. We'll end up with a 5, 9 there. I know I haven't finished all the candidates yet, but that's just something I observed. Right. So we've got this block to finish off then. So we've got one across here. So we do have a pair of 1s there or rather we would have a pair of ones there but now we know that we've got one and five here we know that can't be one so that is going to be our digit one and now we can remove these ones down there and this can't be one that's going to be one and we can get rid of that candidate one there okay now what we've got four across here and four up there so we can have ourselves a pair of fours in those squares and we can also say that you can't be a four we'll remove you now uh... what are we looking for? eight, what do we know about eight? anything much? eight blocks up here so i think we could still have eight in those squares So let's just check our pair, one, five. So we got four, six, and eight together. Yeah, it looks okay. 
Right, now in the top row we're left with 6 and 8, so we know this is going to be 2. And down here that's got to be 6. So that would be 6, and this is our 3. And that's our 3. And this is going to be 4. 8. 8 is going to be there. 6. 4 and 9 there. 7 there. 7 up there, 6 there. I, I quite like this game. 6 up here, so this is the 8. There's the 6. This is a 6. Get rid of the 6s there. Uh, we've also got the 6 here already. That's a 1. That's 2. Uh, we have 8, so that's our 1. 5 there, 7 there. One, uh, seven. That's five. That's nine. Five there is two. Five there. Two. That's going to be eight. Two there. Eight is four. Eight. Get rid of the twos, and what are we left with? Six in that square, four in that square. So an enjoyable game there. I like that. It was very fast at the beginning and got a bit stuck uh, towards the end there. But some uh, interesting kind of uh, gave me a chance to show a unique rectangle that I don't normally show. Um, so that was good. Anyway, I'll see you around. Bye bye.